Well, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman here with you, and I got my grandson Alex out here again. Today we went to a gun show, and it was his first gun show that he attended. He'll be 14 years old at the beginning of October, so it's not too far away. And uh, what I did today is uh, I found a muzzleloader rifle that I'd like for him to use when the youth season gets here and also during that first part of muzzleloader season. And what I ran across was this Thompson Center Thunderhawk. And we've been out here shooting it, and I think we got it dialed in pretty well. I let him shoot it a few times, and I shot it a few times. This one's a 50 caliber, as you can see. And it's in really good condition. But uh, anyway, since we've got it dialed in, I'm going to let Alex shoot some water jugs that we got set up down here. And what we're using today are these Hornady SSTs, 250 grain bullets. They're Sabo bullets. And uh, seems like the gun's shooting pretty accurately. The first two shots out of it, the two bullet holes hit right next to each other. I mean, just a, like a keyhole. And then the next two shots that I fired after I adjusted the scope were like this, you know, really close together still. And then I adjusted the scope again, and I think I got it down, and I actually hit that orange two-inch rifle dot down there at 50 yards. Thompson Center has always made good quality guns, as uh, most of you know, and especially those of you that own Thompson Center guns, whether it's a muzzle loader, black powder, or a regular firearm. Mosquitoes eating you up? Yeah. <laughs> the mosquitoes are out here and they're just eating us up right now. It warmed up again today and it's just miserable trying to do anything outside. We've been spraying down with some mosquito spray, but they're still trying to eat us up. And they're interfering with our video. But I'm going to let him take a shot and we'll see how this little gun performs at 50 yards using these 250 grain Hornady SSTs. I've had good luck out of these with my other inline muzzle loader, and what we're using is 90 grains of uh, Pyrodex, and I think it's uh, RS FFG Pyrodex. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a shot. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna let Alex load up his own load here. And just like I told everyone in the previous videos, always use a powder measure. Never load your muzzle loader directly out of your flask. All right, go ahead and pour it in. Got it all in there. All right. A little debris. And also, another safety tip. While I'm here, I'm going to preach safety. No source of ignition here. Absolutely none. Make sure that's open. Here the bolt is locked in the safety position. All right. I'm going to go ahead and drive this bullet home. This is a faster rate of twist than my traditional muzzle loaders. That's why we're using these uh, sable bullets. All right. Good job. All right, let me get focused in on the target. You see the orange dot down there? Yeah. Got it. Okay, get ready and hold it right on that. All right. Well, that looked like it made quite an impact. Ugh. Let's go take a look and see what we got. Hopefully we captured this bullet. I'd really like to see what that shorter barrel, the effect it has velocity-wise with that Pyrodex.
what just absolutely obliterated those first two jugs. Look at that. Man, if that'd been a deer, <laughs> holy cow. Looks like it went through one, two, two, three, three, and I see water leaking out there. You hit that perfect. I mean perfect. Four. Oh, it come out the backside here, I think. Five. Is there a bullet in here? No, it went all the way through. Went all the way through. So somewhere back here, there's a bullet. It lost a lot of steam after it went through here. And there it is, I found it. There's your bullet. I think what we need to do is load it up with a little bit more powder. You can hold it. And uh, that way we'll get a little bit more expansion. Okay, go ahead and finish. Is that that's your dry patch? Yep. Okay, watch what you're doing there. Now let's see here. Flipping it over. All right, now we're going to go up to, let's see, we got 90 grains. We're going to bump it up to 100. 100 grains of powder. Is my arm going to survive? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Probably shouldn't jinx it, though. That's 100 grains of Pyrodex. And let's see here. Somebody else doing some target practicing over there. All, right, all the way down. That's good contact. All right. Got you a cap on there? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Got to have the cap. Got to have the cap. Get on the target here. All right. And I'll let you know. All right, go ahead. A little bit more kick. Not too bad. A lot more smoke. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Jesus. Sometimes you forget you're using a muzzle loader. <laughs> Might have got a little bit more velocity out of this one. Target back there? No. That's a what target is there? <laughs> different target. Kind of hit off to the side a little bit. Yeah, hit a little bit to the side. I don't know where that bullet went. What's no the max idea. we can do? You can go up to 150 grains. But hmm. Not sure I'm ready for that yet. No. We're going to have to try it again. All right, we're loading up another shot here, folks. Got it all the way down. 
Make sure you got good contact. Good. All right. Good and solid. All right, you're safe to fire. All right, here we go, folks. This is 100 grains of Pyrodex pushing a 250 grain Hornady SST. All right. We'll take a look here. Open the gun up. We'll see what kind of results we have now. Okay. Demolish these first two jugs here. I'll do that one. I'll put some of this old newspaper back here to see if we can capture that bullet. And there it is. I figured she'd run out of steam. Well, that hundred grains of powder compared to 90 didn't make a whole lot of difference either way I mean if you hit a deer with that it's gonna pretty much polax any whitetail but that's pretty good expansion right there at 50 yards I like those SST Hornadies good accuracy and good expansion that's what you're looking for right there well folks it's time to go ahead and close out this video. Alex went back in the house because the mosquitoes out here were just about to eat him up. And even though I sprayed him down with bug spray, sometimes they can just get relentless. I mean, they're just bad sometimes. And even though I sprayed myself down, they were still trying to get me. So anyway, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. We went to the gun show today and I wasn't really planning on buying this little muzzle loader. But I saw it, it caught my eye, and I just thought it would be a really good birthday gift for my grandson because he wants to go out and harvest his first deer this year. This is the target that we set up initially at 50 yards. I brought the gun home, and I took it apart, cleaned it, and lubed it, and got it ready to shoot. And the first two shots hit rather high. You know, that's what, uh, five or six inches too high. So I thought it was shooting a little bit too far to the right, so I moved it over a few clicks and brought it down eight clicks and then shot those two shots right there and they were right in there on top of one another. That's almost through the same hole. And then I moved it down a few more clicks and I'm pretty well right on the money there at 50 yards. And then I went over back to the right again a couple of clicks and I think the gun is pretty well right on the money but we're going to make absolutely sure before we take it out hunting but judging by the way we were center punching those water jugs I'd say the gun is ready to hunt with now now like I said I wasn't really planning on buying this gun but I saw it it caught my eye and uh, once again this is the Thompson Center Thunderhawk in 50 caliber uh, these guns came out back in 1993. This one here has a 21 inch barrel and I think it's a 1 in 38 twist. So it's a little bit of a faster twist than my traditional Hawken uh, or Renegade muzzle loaders. The rings that are on here are original Thompson Center steel rings made for the gun and it's got a Tasco golden antler scope mounted to it. And the scope seems to be tracking real well and it's holding zero so for now I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on there because it's shooting really well with this scope on here. Um, it came equipped with some really good sights. 
there's a flip up rear sight here or flip down however you want to say it but really good quality sights fully adjustable the front sight is really fine it's a brass bead and the gun's pretty well put together I mean it's got a gorgeous piece of American black walnut in it and it's got good bluing on the gun now later on they came out with a stainless steel version but I like the look of the blued steel and walnut for my taste and I knew that my grandson would like it now the way you operate this gun is you charge the gun just like any normal muzzle loader whether you use pellets or loose powder go ahead and load your bullet first and then right here it's got a percussion nipple where you put your percussion cap I'll give you a close up there this one here shoots number 10 or number 11 percussion caps right now it's in the safe position I'm gonna go ahead and let it down here and the way you get the gun ready to fire of course you want this back and in the safe lock position you put your percussion nipple on there and then when you're in your stand or you get ready to shoot you see some deer coming or whatever you just pull back on this bolt and ease it up and you're ready to fire you know that gun's ready to shoot but it has a very positive safety locking mechanism there and I really like that that's that's a really safe uh, attribute to the gun itself this one here has uh, sling swivels already installed and it comes with the original Thompson Center recoil pad here it's a rubber recoil pad and the gun's a little bit short for me but it's right on the money for my grandson you know it's I mean it, it's holding just a, a tad tight to my shoulder but uh, you know for him to get out and use it it's just ideally suited to him and to be honest with you I can shoot it very comfortably and I would have no problem taking this little gun out in the woods and harvesting a deer with it it's got a very sleek design to it and Thompson Center has always made good quality guns whether they were muzzle loaders or firearms they were always top-notch very accurate very well put together guns and it's just a real shame that they're no longer in production now there was a conversion kit available for these at one time where you could take that percussion nipple off of there and put a 209 nipple on there where it would actually accommodate a 209 primer you get more spark directly into the powder charge and I believe that came with a, an upgraded bolt for the firing system and these incidentally I read somewhere that the triggers are fully adjustable on this gun so that's another mark of excellence you know anytime you have a gun that has an adjustable trigger that shows you right away that that's a that's a really top-notch gun so I think he's going to have a good time with this, shooting this, just like he did today. And hopefully we can get it out in the woods and he can harvest his first deer with it. But uh, i got to get him up in the morning and i got to get him away from the computer games before that will happen, folks. So if you've got a youngster that uh, is even remotely interested in outdoor activities like fishing or hunting or shooting or whatever, then I encourage you by all means to jump at the chance to let him go out and experience real life things like that you know it's, it's just a it's going to add to their development later on nowadays a lot of this younger generation is so involved with computer games that they're missing out on a lot of real life experiences and uh, <laughs> whenever he gets ready he just came out here and he's over here ready to shoot again but uh, we're going to shoot the 22 here in a little while but before I do that let me uh, thank you for coming along I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we provided you with some information that is useful to you so with that being said let me go ahead and close out and wish you all well remember if you like to go hunting fishing camping shooting hiking whatever it may be I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and also remember hit that like button smash the bell icon and subscribe that way you'll know when more videos like this will be coming your way so until next time y'all take care come here alex say bye <laughs> see you 
See y'all later.